Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia, starting out this Tuesday morning with a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 15, verse 29 through 39. After Jesus had left that place, Tyre and Sidon, he passed along the Sea of Galilee, and he went up the mountain where he sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the maimed, the blind, the mute, and many others. They put them at his feet, and he cured them, so that the crowd was amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the maimed whole, the lame walking, and the blind seeing, and they praised the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. Now I do not want to send them away hungry, for they might faint on the way. The disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in the desert to feed so great a crowd? Jesus asked them, How many loaves have you? They said, Seven and a few small fish. Then ordering the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all of them ate and were filled, and they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. Those who had eaten were four thousand men, besides women and children. After sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. Magadon. That is our scripture reading this morning. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer. Let us pray together now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the natural creations that you have made, Lord, and the joy we can find through these wonders for both blue and gray skies and the sun rising and setting today. We thank you for the food on our tables, for those who check in on us, and for the hope of a better tomorrow, which through you, Lord, we will be seeing. Lead us to do good in this world that you have created as we walk outside into it, as we know your Spirit will always be with us through it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a great Tuesday today.